Hello guys, welcome once again to another SpaceX Updates video. The launch of NASA's SpaceX Crew-6 mission was scrubbed due to a ground system issue. Everything was going great for an on-time liftoff until about the T-minus 5 minutes mark when the SpaceX launch control room reported a T-tab issue. SpaceX, for awareness, we are seeing a T-tab load issue and are troubleshooting. We are currently still go, but have further evaluation before making a final decision. We'll get to a final read before T-0. TTEB is used as ignition fluid to ignite the Merlin engines of the Falcon 9 rocket. The launch director called off the launch attempt for today. Two minutes, this 30 is the seconds. LD on countdown one. Hold, hold, hold. We are standing down due to do a TTEB ground issue. SpaceX has now announced a new launch date for the same mission. Crew 6 is now scheduled for launch on March 2nd at 12.34 a.m. Eastern Time from the same Pad 39A. Later today, SpaceX is ready to launch its first batch of Starlink V2 mini satellites at 1.38 p.m. Eastern Time from SLC-40 at Cape. Unlike previous Starlink mission, only 21 Starlink satellites will be launched in this mission. It is because these new Starlink satellites are the upgraded version of its existing satellites. The originally intended Starlink V2 satellites are much larger and were meant to launch on Starships but this mini version is modified to fit into the smaller fairing of the Falcon 9 rockets. I don't know if it is the same Starlink satellites that were spotted at Starbase weeks ago. Starlink V2 satellites will be able to provide more bandwidth with increased reliability. Among many upgrades, V2 minis are equipped with new Argon Hall thrusters for on-orbit maneuvering. They are exclusively designed by SpaceX engineers and they have 2.4 times the thrust and 1.5 times the specific impulse of first-gen thrusters. Another Starlink mission is also scheduled to launch this afternoon from SLC-40 at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. The two launches are merely one hour apart. Let us see if SpaceX can launch both missions. Back at the Starbase, SpaceX's main focus seems to be on the completion of the shielding around the OLM ring. Crews continue to weld the support structure to install the remaining plates. That is it for now. Thank you for watching and supporting the channel as always.